It's not like I'm streaming anything graphically intensive. I like adjusted to the crap. It's an on-off switch. That ghost just infinitely respawns. There are some things about Minish Cap I kind of think are cool, but like overall I hate the game. What does that do? I like 2D Zelda a lot though. Minish Cap is just the worst 2D Zelda and overall I would still call it like an 8 out of 10 game for me. Zelda 2 is pretty fun. Gets a lot of hate for no reason. Oh, we could chameleon. I'm a fairy. I'm faster, anyway. So what does this do? Don't want to take the warp yet. Let's check out every direction except the warping direction. This camera is working tremendously against me. I'm pretty sure these transformations are one of the selling points of the game. I'm also pretty sure that they're just ripping on Kid Chameleon and various other games that did the same thing. I should play the Tomba games. Wasn't there like another 30 door on the second floor? Kami's not even that good of a Zelda game, although it is a kind of fun game. Huh? Fucking movement controls are so dog shit. Uh, how do I get some of these? I guess I could just jump off. God Christ. Literally all of the basic gameplay of Skyward Sword upset me. Oh my lord. Somebody help. Just fucking end this torment. Made it. The notion of going through 40 levels of this shit just sounds awful to me. Oh, fuck. Did not see that. Alright, we got a path open. And that's all. These controls are so bad. 
It's like ruining the game, and it's not like the game is fantastic. Right, we got two ways to go. We got a spoopy ghost and a door. Or we can keep going up, maybe. Non-linearity is a thing that I was not looking forward to. Got another door. This one is a what's it? This is not gonna go well. I knew. Kinda works like Sonic with the rings there. I hate these ghosts, they have too much health and they're fucking annoying to kill. That is absolutely spooky. Is anyone even a little bit spooked by the games I'm playing right now, or should I just put in Call of Cthulhu? Haha, <laughs> joke's on you guys, I don't have Call of Cthulhu. Actually, I do. Alright, this button should make it so I don't fall while I'm trying to get that guy. All the way out? I wasn't expecting that. There's still another door. I want to. I want to know what's behind it. I didn't think it would just eject me from the level. Although I did get both winks. I'm really afraid for the last game that I got, because it might be bad and I really don't want it to be bad because I remember liking it. Are you fucking me? Hi, this game is shit too, and I can't even leave. I don't want to play fucking that many levels of that shit. This game looks like ass. Alright, so this is the one where we really, we get to play that game. Here we go, boys. The holy mother god of spooky PS1 games. It's not even, I guess the spookiest PS1 game is probably like Resident Evil 1 or like Clock Tower or something. Shit, why am I not playing Clock Tower? I haven't played this game since it was brand new. In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zara. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung. Dude, I should get Mystery of the Druids. I wonder what you actually do in that game. destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galilee, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. 
I feel like it's hard to argue with Majora being the best Zelda game, even though every Zelda game is fantastic. I feel like Majora took, like, I mean, Majora did the least, not the least, but like Majora didn't do very much in terms of innovation. But it was so experimental, and the experimentation was so, it was such a good idea. I really hope this game isn't shit. Who is this rather narrow fellow? I feel like OT is like a 9 now. I feel like when it came out it was like 11. I've heard Zelda's adventure actually gets shit on way more than it deserves to. For a, for compared to like Wand of Gamelon and Faces of Evil. But I've never played it. I've never played any of them. Like my boy! This piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. This actually is Shinnok. Twilight Princess is fine. You can say Wind Waker is your favorite, and that's okay. You can say Ocarina of Time is your favorite, and that's okay. Link to the Past, that's okay. Any Zelda can be someone's favorite, I feel. Shit, I'm pretty sure that Oracle of Ages might be my favorite Zelda. Or like Link's Awakening. Majora's Mask. Sweet Jesus, they already look like that. Almost every Zelda, there are things I adore and then little things I have gripes with. <laughs> Cute. Let's play some House of the Dead too. If only I had a light gun. I could just use my mouse, but it's not going to be the same. Or some Carnival. Maybe I'll actually download those games. They're probably giant because they're arcade games. Probably like 2 gigs. I tried to download Gauntlet Legends and it was like 10 gigs. I was like, what the fuck is this? Game came out in like the fucking 90s. How is it 10 gigabytes? <laughs> Alright, so is the game going to ask me to start yet? Because I don't think I've hit a title screen. I could play some Typing of the Dead. I'm pretty sure that's based on House of the Dead too. Either that or all of them. Both up and down are doing nothing, I presume, because it knows that I have no files. How did he know that was there? Alright, so I haven't played this game since I was literally an infant. It has risen again, Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of This is taking way too long. How do I skip to it? to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we know better. Okay. Nice. 
Look at the loan. Fate has given it a second Greedy Land chance. is pretty fun. A chance to forget the I like it a lot. I would probably not rate it among my favorite 3D Marios. I like 3D Mario more than 2D Mario, but I'd probably put my top three Marios as Galaxy 1. Not in this order. Huh. Let me think about that. That's a sword. I found movement. Found small sword. Some kind of block or duck or... I don't know, I don't know what he's doing. That's a quick chop. Jump his circle for whatever reason. This is this a save point? Mario Galaxy? Maybe Mario World? No. Probably Mario Galaxy, Mario 64, and New Super Mario Bros. U. They're probably my three favorite Marios. It's hard to say though, because my favorite Marios probably aren't the platformers, it's probably like other Mario games. I'm definitely gonna get a Switch. I'm like actually excited for that shit. I'm like, I'm basically the exact target audience of the Switch. my run button. There is no fucking run button. Found life bottle. Found throwing daggers. How do I switch weapons? How do I switch weapons? <laughs> Help. Is this permanently replaced? Select. Aha. Yeah. We're in this. Press and hold the square button. Alright. Ooh. I'm strong now. <gasps> I'm running! Oh, you can double tap directions to run? I guess that's it. Yeah, that's a little weird in this kind of engine. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. Circle being the jump button is a little bit weird. Found copper shield. The greedy merchant gargoyles. So this is indeed a block button. Also I appear to have hit a dead end. Back to the shoulder, the like L2 and R2 being the fucking camera buttons, which I actually hate. That run is pretty slow. Alright, let's do this. Leroy! That fucking did nothing. This wall has bested me. I feel like Mario Maker is fantastic. I feel like it's like top... <laughs> Maybe that's top three Mario games. Shit. Kill Mario 64. Alright, there must have been something to do down here, because I, I like, I'm already stuck. Watch Bath be bad at a fucking critically acclaimed game. What exactly is my goal down here? Yeah, treasure. Mario Maker is fantastic. Now what though? Help. I'm literally powerless right now. How do I even get out of this damn place? Oh, I can put the ruin on the hand. Alright, whatever. I didn't read the thing. We unlocked the level. Wow, it didn't even ask me to choose a file, are you kidding me? Alright, I gotta take a bathroom break, I'll be right back.
It's this uh, damn kidney stone healing. I don't know. Be right back. It still hurts just a bit. Must be swelling. Where am I? Or it could be all the medication I'm still on. Since it's supposed to work for hours and hours. Since I was popping four pills every four hours. Some kind of enemy? Do oh, I even hurt these things? Are they even enemies? to be relatively harmless. I see money. Me IRL. Despite easily being able to clear that gate, I cannot jump over that gate. Once again the camera is the camera buttons are doing not what I would expect them to do. I like this game's sense of humor already. Alright, we got gauntlet style gameplay. I don't know to what degree I'm really looking for... ...secrets. I remember playing this game and I loved it. On Earth Brain. But I'm not quite sure what I'm like. I'm not sure what to expect. Because I don't remember this game almost at all. I just remember liking it. So I can probably like. Alright, that door is too tough for me right now. Or you. That's a healing spot. Found a rejuvenation, technically. So I'm getting treasure. It's tracking like how many fucking how much treasure I've gotten from killing these enemies. But that doesn't count the money I get. So it's just purely an enemy kill tracker. Maybe this new rune will help me open that door. Yeah, very promising. Reminds me of Adam Family with all these things running around. Hello? Nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. I have not successfully used my shield yet. But why would I, right? Nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Alright, when the angel's looking at something, it opens the door. Time you dispatch an enemy, the chalice fills a little more. Ooh, these are my collectibles. I've got to kill a few enemies while holding it. Oh, it's like I can't even get it until I've killed every enemy in the region. So this is like um, the box counter or whatever in like uh, Crash.
this gate is shut. Probably come back here. There's treasure. Come on, game. Probably run along this top thing. Where are you? Some kind of boss. So, the secret. Is the secret not running along here? I like clipped inside a wall there. Well, I saw that chest, dude. Tell me I can't run around this guy. This feels not intended. You just do something that doesn't, doesn't feel right. Well, here I am. It worked. And I couldn't see another way in, so I guess it was intended. Damn, I haven't thought about the Microsoft, like, the Expone S in a while. So what is it? What is the... what's the appeal? What's the trick? How are they getting you to buy one? Alright, so that's not... That's not the number of enemies in the region. It's just the number of enemies I need to kill in order to collect the chalice. I don't need to keep killing after that point. This game is kind of fun. Combat's a bit rudimentary, but I've never cared much about that. What's the game? What's the Xbone S game? The Xbone game that like makes you want to buy an Xbone? Copper shield. I still haven't blocked it all. Pass some deep water there. Oh, it even reminds me. That's polite. I didn't pick up the chalice. I didn't realize I was about to beat the level. How oh, nice. Alright, I'd like this camera to spin though. It's amazing how like Mario 64 always gets shit on for like having a shit camera, but then like every other game has an even shitter camera. What are you? Ooh, this is one of them greedy... Greedy gargoyles. So how do I get up there? Looks like lots of cool stuff. God, I surrender, it's too hard. Wait. It might be a jump like that. It looks a little ghetto and weird and unintended. That feels really wrong. Wow, it worked. Pretty sure I entered from the wrong side. Yeah. I'm like fairly certain I wasn't supposed to do what I just did. I guess let's go run to the chalice. door I can't open. I do find it polite that it reminded me, but I also find it kind of inconvenient that it fucking... it's all the way over here. I guess I could have pointed it that way and that's how I would get through, right? I know this is like a much loved game, but like these controls are starting to piss me off just a bit. I think even Nintendo is forgetting that Nintendo has Metroid. 
feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're a worthy I like this game, Seymour. You may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. It's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it with the DMC now. After you were slain, I, shot I actually didn't hate other M. A clean kill through the eye I had a good time playing it. Yards. Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. Oh. Goodbye, sir. What if I said no? So I've got a crossbow with 150 bolts, which has a finite number of shots unless I won't touch it. Oh, I could have taken other things. I think they all cost one chalice or whatever. Now my face is a little red. Okay, so what do I actually do here? Anything? Nothing? Why was this just in the middle of a level? I like the idea of Samus being an artist. I also didn't hate Adam, and I also didn't hate the fact that weapons had to be authorized. Oh, okay, that was just the end of the level, and you just automatically go to the Hall of Heroes when you finish the level. I understand now. I think Smash 4 is nowhere even close to as fun to watch as Melee. Melee is just a lot faster with much more technical movement. That's my opinion. Replay the graveyard. Says I got the chalice. I wonder how big this game is. It looks kind of fun. But I'm going to stop playing. That wasn't a very good um, Halloween stream, was it? I only got three games and I didn't feel like playing any of them. Or rather, I got tired of them quickly. Fuck it, let's, let's watch some Fade Strike. It's been too long. I'm in a good mood.